Hi everyone, Phil here, and this is a quick video on how to connect uh, WebVR applications with your Oculus Quest 2 via AirLink. And as you can see on the screen right now, we have the Firefox browser that is currently running on my laptop. Now also keep in mind that there are two other browsers that run natively on the Oculus Quest 2, which is one by Facebook and another actually by Firefox. But there might be certain situations where you want to experience web VR applications and it just requires a little bit more power than what the Oculus Quest 2 might be able to handle. And for most cases, a lot of web VR applications are going to be able to run quite well uh, on the natively running browsers with the Oculus Quest 2. However, when you do run into a situation where a lot more memory and performance are needed, uh, a great solution is being able to use the Oculus Quest 2 AirLink to connect your laptop or PC. So right now, as I described earlier, we have the Firefox browser on the screen. And for all intents and purposes, uh, with a shameless plug, I'm going to connect to the a VR story demo page here, which I have at the top of the screen. Um, so I'm just going to click on that. So keep in mind when you are in uh, AirLink mode with your Oculus Quest 2 already connected to your PC, um, you, you want to open up your web browser, your Firefox web browser, and then search for the web application that you want to experience. And what you're going to be able to do uh, is in, in order to connect, right, um, you're going to be provided with this prompt. And what you what you want to do is to hit the allow. And then after that, um, it will it will automatically switch over to show the screen um, of the web VR experience once you click on the VR button that's located there. Most of these. Web VR application is going to have some sort of button that identifies it to be able to to run a web VR. And you're probably wondering too why I'm really pointing out Firefox as the solution to be able to do this is because I've already tested it out with Chrome and I've not had so much luck with it. So um, if you are going to do web VR experiences, I highly recommend using Firefox at least. Um, from my experience, it's much, it, it would just kind of connect directly to the web VR application uh, right out of the box, whereas you might have to do a little bit of tinkering every now and then with something like uh, Chrome or maybe even uh, the Brave browser. So I'm not going to click on this, but once you click allow, that's going to enable the web VR application to connect to your Oculus Quest 2. And once you're done with that, like I said, in the headset, you want to click on this and basically um, right now I'm actually running this on, on my on my on my desktop screen. However, you're going to be able to experience the web VR, this web VR application in the headset. Otherwise, if I were to show that demo, it actually wouldn't show up in the screen. You actually wouldn't see this demo running right now as as I'm kind of just scrolling through here. And keep in mind, I do not have uh, the ability to move, you know, with teleport or or smooth lo smooth locomotion in this application right now. So if you have a big enough space, you'll be able you'll be able to walk around through this uh, through this uh, model here. So hopefully this will help you out with experiencing web VR applications. There's a lot of really great ones out there, really great games that I think um, you know really provide other experiences that I think a lot of people are going to enjoy. But otherwise, that's really the end of the video. And I hope this is going to be helpful for you guys to experience your more from your Oculus Quest 2 and uh, have fun with some of the things that are available on like the web VR applications. But feel free to check out this demo at demo.avrstory.net. I recommend just putting the HTTPS right up front and uh, you'll be able to experience it in virtual reality using your Oculus Quest 2 via AirLink. But make sure, like I said, I've had a lot of luck with using Firefox, but you can test out. And I will be testing out also the other browsers, as you can see here, like uh, Internet Explorer, 
and the Opera browser. So have a wonderful day and uh, enjoy more VR.